Well, hi everybody. Hellcrex here. Just doing another unboxing of stuff that came into the command bunker. We have three new boxes and some salvage boxes and this. We got the Battletech Battle of Two Kid. So, got that book come in also. So, a little bit of goodies. Ooh, didn't help to hit the stand. That's all over the place. All right, let's slide some of these over the way. Over here. Let's get these out of the way. All right, there we go. In the center, we have the Clan Heavy Striker Star, which has the Gargoyle Hellbringer, Mad Dog, Ice Ferret, and Viper. No assembly required. Made of 100% wholesome plastic, which I like. Which means you don't have to sit there and try to spend two hours assembling one mech that's made of metal. That's the good thing. The only bad thing is some of these are got these dynamic poses, which I utterly hate. And then you get these Alpha Strike cards, which, to be honest, mean nothing to us here. Some people play it, not us. All right. You know, we start off with the, I, this is the Fenris Ice Ferret. Not a bad looking mech. Looks good. I'm assuming these are doing up in Jade Falcon. And we got a Hellbringers Loki here. And we got the gargoyle. Not bad. Not a bad sculpt at all. It doesn't have that bulbous head anymore. That's one good thing. So. And then we got the viper, dra the dragonfly, I think. So. My clan naming is not very strong. Because I... You go 10 years without ever seeing, knowing that there were clan names for these mechs, and then they turn around and give them clan names. Then you're going, uh, okay. And we got the Mad Dog Vulture. One of my favorite. I like the 60 tonner. This is, works really good. You arm this thing up with nothing but SRMs and a large laser and, and a medium laser, ER medium laser. Yeah. The thing rips things to pieces. And you can have a targeting computer. So for a total of six tons, you have a nice little addition. And, well, there's the Gargoyle Man of War card. I just come to my attention what this stuff means. Short, medium, and long range. Hey, I didn't know it until I was watching Dwayne's... Uh, Plastic crack channel. It's like, oh, that's what that stuff means. I had no idea. It's like, my, uh, let's just say, Alpha Strike is very weak. Alright, and then we have another. Direwolf, Daiashi. It gives us four or five, maybe six. I'm not sure. Maybe we've got six Daiashis now. We can do a whole star of Daiashis. That's a firepower and a half. One all LRMs. Another one's all medium pulse or pulse lasers. Yeah. With a target computer. All right, so this is a shadow cat. Interesting little mech. Nice little design. Summoner slash um, there you go. Dire Wolf, aka Dayashi. There we go. Four. 
Yeah, four. There we go. That's a nice mech. That's a pig. That's what an assault mech's supposed to be like. 50 tons of worth of pod space to go out there and send down range. Miss links. Little it be I'm not sure exactly what tonnage the mist link is. Or what is a mist links? Is that the Koshi? I'm not sure. We got the old Stormcrow Ryokin, my fa favorite of the clan mechs, 55 tons. Is this the Koshi? All right. Well, that's a Koshi. All right. It's like, not until recently, it's like, say, oh, that's a Miss Lynx. Uh, what's a Miss Lynx? I had no idea. Okay. And then last but not least, we got the, we're going into Inner Sphere Heavy Battle Lance. There's the cards. Night Star is in here. Yay! That gives us three Night Stars. I think we got three Night Stars now. That will be a nice little addition to everything. That's the Bushwhacker. This gives us two of these things now. Two Bushwhackers. 55 and then we got the old cataphract the old franken mech basically and ooh, another axeman that gives us maybe two lances worth of melee mechs now maybe Working on number three, I think now. I think I got four of each of those. Then we add in the Berserker. It's like, what all the melee mechs want to evolve into? The e bulbed. All right, then we got the infamous Night Star. Lots of firepower with this bugger. Dies pretty quickly, though, unfortunately. But it doesn't have to get close to enjoy its uh, dinner. So that one, and that one, and that one. What do we got? Oh, salvage boxes. It has been uh, slid open. All right. All right. We got four salvage boxes. All right. Salvage box number one. Oh, we got another Loki. We already seen one of these. That gives us probably five of them, maybe six. <laughs> Lots of Lokis. Side. Let's put it there. And what's in this one? Another Mad Dog. Mad Dogs uh, galore. Got lots of those. I do know we definitely have a star of Mad Dogs. And Dragonfly Viper. Dragonfly Viper. Another one. And last but not least in the clan invasion comes the Adder, a.k.a. Puma. You were just playing with this online, weren't you? You get two PVC version? That's the Prime? Cool. That just gives us more mechs that you have to go out and get. Uh, 
crying because the weather's going to drop to sub-zero temperatures starting tomorrow or tonight, something like that. So, got to get this primed before the weather gets cold. Right now it's like 40, so, hey. So, we'll go out there and get all this stuff primed up and get them into the assembly line of mechs that need to be painted. So, there's another... 10, 14, 18 mechs. Yeah. In the last month, we've added over 100 mechs to the um, roster. So, yep. I'm, be, I'm still going to keep busy. All right. Hope you guys like this one. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Help Rex out.